Hey guys, Alex here from Alexified, and today I'm going to talk about the latest firmware update for the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. This is the latest firmware update for April and is supposed to improve the performance of the camera and fixing the focus issue for both the Exynos and the Snapdragon version. In my case, I have the Exynos version, rest in peace, and honestly, the performance of the Exynos has disappointed me so much and not just the camera problems, but including the heating up issues, battery life, and speed. But that will be in the future video. For now, we're going to focus on the camera. Firstly, to get this update, simply head to the setting icon, scroll all the way down to software update, and check download and install. So I'll be showing you the footage that I took before the update first. And after that, I'll be showing the footage right after the update. So I'll be using the S20 Ultra box and the Galaxy Buds box. So as you guys can see, the focus is very unstable and very shaky and very slow indeed. And for some reason, I find it very um, artificial feeling. I don't know if you guys feel that way. Here's the next footage that I took. The background is the octopus pot and I'll be using the back of the wireless mouse from Xiaomi. And as you can see, the letter sometimes is out of focus, sometimes it's focus. It's still very artificial to me. I I can't explain it. It's just it's just not as natural as iPhone. What do you guys think? This is the third footage that I took and the background is the S20 Ultra box and the Galaxy Buds box and I'll be using the tag that I got. Um, at this point, I feel like if the, if the subject is in the middle, it focuses much quicker. If it were to be on the side as you guys saw, it won't focus as quickly as, as I thought it would. This is the last footage that I took, and this time it will be the slow pan from left to right. And as you guys can see, the focus start from the Galaxy Buds. It's uh, starting okay, and then it start to get very shaky, very unstable. And again, very unnatural. I feel it's really robotic. Okay, so this is the S20 Ultra after the April update. I honestly think that the update might make it even worse, but that's just my opinion, but you guys will be the judge. I mean, it's, it's even more artificial than, than the previous update. I, I'm actually quite speechless to seeing this. I mean, You'll see it later that the older iPhone can even do a better job in focusing. Here's the last footage that I took after the April update. So at this point, I think the focus is actually not too bad here. It performs pretty well, but again, if the subject just move on the side, like right from the, from the right or from the left, it just doesn't focus. I have to manually touch the screen or it just won't focus. And here you'll see that I'm going back and forward in depth. Yeah, it's performed pretty okay. Not too bad. But again, if it's from the side, it's just not focusing. From my consumer point of view, I feel that the performance, I would say like third place at best, at least for the Exynos version, because I don't have a chance to get the Snapdragon variant, I heard it's much better and it's also the different sensor than the Exynos. We always get the half-baked version of the flagship, so-called flagship. Now, here's something interesting. I'll be using iPhone 10, which is about three years old, comparing it to the S20 Ultra. And maybe it's my eyes, but honestly, I think iPhone 10 perform much, much better. I think it's night and day. Of course, there is some noise. I mean, it's, 
is an old camera, but in terms of focusing, I think it works brilliantly. It it just way better, way better out of the box. There is no focus hunting. There is no focus issue. There is no battery problem, and they constantly update very quickly, comparing to Samsung. Also, I think the biggest difference here is the focus on the iPhone is very natural to me. It's subtle. It's gradual. It's not just like a sudden click and then focus. It's just me. I think the focus on the iPhone is just much better. It's just much more natural. Remember, guys, this phone is three years old. So now I'll be doing the side by side comparison between the S twenty Ultra and the iPhone ten footage. So what do you guys think between these two? Do you think the S twenty Ultra is better or the iPhone ten is better? I'm very interested in you guys' opinion. In my opinion, I think the iPhone ten is better, and again, it's much more natural. The focus is more gradual, not just sudden click focus. Also, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It would mean so much to me and help me a lot. I'm trying to grow on my YouTube right now. Hopefully, I can grow. Also, I'm just starting on YouTube, so if anyone have any suggestion or technique, please comment down below. I would love to learn more from you guys. I just had an idea that I just compared a three-year-old phone to an S twenty Ultra. Now. What about if I compare the iPhone 6 Plus, which doubles the age of the iPhone 10, which is six years old, to the S20 Ultra? You know, when I start to use iPhone 6 to compare with the S20 Ultra, I start to think, come on, it's, it's too unfair. It's six years old, but you know what? I'm just going to do it anyway. I just want to see the result. And... <laughs> It's mind-blowing, I'll be honest with you. I mean, yes, the quality of the iPhone 6 Plus is just is, is horrible at this day and age. But in terms of focusing again, it still works better than the S20 Ultra. I'll let you guys be the judge. And that's it for now, guys. Please stay healthy and stay strong. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.